Hi, Hollywood Lifers. It's Bonnie. So I'm here today with Philip Locke, the famed celebrity stylist, and we're going to talk about who looked fantastic and who not so much at the Teen Choice Awards. And we're we're going to just we're going to do the ins and outs of what everybody was wearing, and then we want you to tell us what you think. Now, Philip, who was a standout for you? Case do. Absolutely, and Cavatli, Kristen Stewart looked amazing. I thought it was young, it was funky, and she had a rock and roll presence. I agree. I thought she looked fantastic and super hip. I love the leather pants. I love the Louboutins with that jacket. And she dressed so differently from everybody else that, yeah, she total stood out stand. That sea yeah, of little mini dresses that everybody wore. She looked like herself. That's right. Everybody else did wear a little mini dress, and I felt like. These, these young women are ready to take things to the next level. Like they all look great as if they were, if they were going to a prom or a wedding. You'd say great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty dress. I mean, Selena, very pretty pink dress, Taylor Swift. Yeah, but squared. It was cute, but it was missing a belt. Like, it didn't have any emphasis on the waist and the white sandals. My assistant wore that to go to the supermarket the other day. <laughs> really? Yeah. Quite a dressy assistant. Yes. But, but, I mean, don't you think they need to think stunning? Like, a, a, a knockout dress... And rather than just a nice outfit. Like Demi Lovato in Fallujah mm. and Shane. It stood out. She was like a warrior princess. Yes. She took command of the stage and she whipped her ponytail around. It was fun. It was exciting. Yeah, I mean, the Teen Choice Awards, this is a huge event now. And it's not just for teens. And come on, teen girls have a lot of style today. You got and a choice. Make a choice. Make a good choice. Yeah, these, these are role models. These are style role models. And that means that... They should be dressing for TV, not for just going to a party. Dress to impress. <laughs> and to almost to, to get people to talk and to astound. Yeah. They need to, they need to think that, you know, they're going to the young Oscars. Absolutely. Like That's why what not? This is like. Taylor Swift looks chic, but it was a little bit of a yawn and white again. And yeah, and that's true. She's worn a lot of white, and the white just doesn't stand out a lot. It looks safe. There was a lot of safeness. Does Miss she Leah own Michelle anything too. sexy? Does she own anything sexy, um, Taylor Swift? Yeah, occasionally <laughs> she goes sexy. I like when she does her sparkles. She's yeah. worn some wonderful sparkle dresses. Yeah. But Leah Michelle too. I mean, I like the fact that her hair was a little blonder. And beachy. And yeah. she looked beachy and pretty. But... Uh, it's Versace. Versace. <laughs> but Versace has not yes, dazzle. Knock 'em dead dresses. That was not it. Nina Debrev, who's been really hitting the red carpets hard and I think has the potential to be a real style icon, looked nice, but Jay Mandel, it was chic, it was elegant, it didn't really pop, 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 pop. No, pop. it did not pop, 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 pop. She's worn, she wore more exciting things when she was uh you know, doing Vampire Diaries exactly. uh, events. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and Kendall looks, and Kylie, oh, yes. you know, too dark. Those too dark, dresses yeah. were just too dark. And a little mature. Yes. A little mature, not again. The, I like. Fun li it up. Fun it up, fun, girls. I think just because it's short doesn't mean it's fun. I, I think that's where they're getting it wrong. It's like, oh, if I wear a short dress, then I'm not being like my mom. I'm being cool and funky. But you need more than that. Little bees, little feathers. Now, I thought Victoria Justice. Gorgeous. I thought, yeah, I love the train. I love the, the, the leopard spot pattern. I she love took it. a chance. She I was love daring. a good mullet dress. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the side mullet dress. Yeah, I like the side it mullet. Billowed. It was fun, and it looked like the event. It was young. Yeah, and, I and funky, say, a little funky. Funky, exactly. Have a spirit. But Carly Rae Jepsen, she needs to Oy. find out what the step and repeat is, because that, that kind of weird black and white pattern, uh. it just clashed with the step and repeat. She looked cute on stage in the, in the metallic uh, yeah, shorts. Yeah, but with the little sneakers and the stockings. She needs a stylist. Call me, maybe. Ah. <laughs> Not even maybe. Call me. I agree. Carly Rae, call Philip. You've got the number one song in the country. You need the number one stylist. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Ashley Benson, what was she thinking? She had this itty bitty oh, little yeah. bustier on. It was like an Anna Nicole Smith reject outfit and these big Balenciaga pants. They did nothing for her hips, it except make them body. look big. It yeah. ruined her body. And I, I think it's so important. You know, yes, we love curves. We, you don't have to be a skinny, stick, thin girl. Show your curves, but not like this 
tie it size two up top and a size 12 on the bottom. It just looked weird. Well, you know who looked good? Speaking of, of uh, someone who wasn't stick thin, but who actually lost a lot of weight, um, I love that chartreuse dress on Jordan Sparks. I thought that, that was, was really yeah. beautiful. She's about Though to Though she didn't wear it sparkle. on the red carpet. Yeah. She's about to really step out. I think she's coming into her own. And I like the dress on the red carpet, the black one, because she is a curvy girl. She's a fuller girl. So she had a dress with some volume, a little beading, a little... <laughs> there was stuff going on. You know, right. was something, okay, what's happening there? I liked it. It was something to look at. Okay, so so young stars, you've heard it from Philip. You need some stuff going on. Now, Hollywood lifers, tell us what you think and vote in our fashion poll. Bye.